Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Good morning, everybody, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, for us, for Andrew and I, we're in California. It's around 10 a.m. And this is today, the last day of the year. You're like, no, it's not. It's the 29th of February. But again, if you've listened to my podcast, this is a leap year. This is 10. January is 11th month. February now is the 12th month. And we're stepping into a leap year. This is a leap year. We're stepping into a new year because the, you add the last day of the year into the end of the year. And starting tomorrow, Friday is March 1. And I honestly believe we are about to see an historic events go down as we step into March and in the month of March. So this is an emergency broadcast. I reached out to Andrew yesterday. He was so kind to come on for a brief interview here. I want to address the importance of precious metals, gold and silver. And we're going to tie in cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin into this conversation because this is there's so much to talk about. So, Andrew, welcome. Oh, thanks for having me. It is an exciting time for sure. The news specifically is about what the billionaires are doing. OK, I want to address that again. The news we're going to talk about is what the billionaires are doing. You know that saying, Andrew, right? Follow the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The question is why some of these politicians, you know, come into office, have a job that makes 200000 a year, leave office, multi-millionaires. You got to ask how this is all happening. And what I want to express and have people understand is people work in shadows in the darkness. They have secret handshakes. And most importantly, they have secret information. That secret information can be, you know, can be discussed as foreknowledge of what's about to happen so andrew and i've been talking about precious metals for a long time andrew and i also know a decent amount about cryptocurrencies and bitcoin and so andrew what have you seen happen with bitcoin starting this past monday uh, february 26th oh bitcoin's up about thirteen thousand for the week and uh, even if you go back to the end of last year at the end of last year, it was at, um, geez, I want to say about um, 44,000. So it's a, a pretty good, it's having a pretty good year up about 50%. Right. And you have to understand what it did in the past 20 days. It went up roughly $23,000. So back all the way in 2022, uh, November of 2022, we called the bottom at 14,000. The bottom came in at 14,000. It went up. When sideways for a decent amount, and in just this month, 21 days of trading, it went up $23,000. And just this three days, starting Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the first three days of this week, it went up $13,000. My charts are pointing to this is only a warm up. This is going to go crazy. So my question to you, Andrew, why would people who have large amounts of money be buying Bitcoin? They're, they're trying to uh, they're trying to get in on really the uh, the BRICS trade. So the BRICS trade that's going to ultimately move gold upward. Yeah, the definition for what you're describing is called front running a trade. Mm -hmm. So what's front running a trade? If you have foreknowledge of something that's going to happen, so it's called insider trading, foreknowledge, okay? The definition, if you pull it up, is the practice of trading stocks or any other financial asset or instrument to capitalize on advanced insider non-public knowledge of a large pending future event or transaction that is about to affect the price of something substantially. 
So what have we been talking about? We've been talking what? About the fall and the collapse of the U.S. dollar. I'm going to play a few clips in a second here, but I want to bring this chart up and have the viewers understand what we're looking at here, because this is kind of crazy. What do you see? You see Bezos, Jamie Dimon, Zuckerberg, the Walton family. They basically announced on this past Monday that they last week sold in the vicinity of $9 billion. And that's what they basically will attest to. Who knows the real number? So you'll see last week they unloaded all the Bitcoin. The interesting part was it was actually the start of February. On the 2nd, there was an article posted that that Bezos is going to start unloading stocks. He started unloading, and you'll notice right from February 2nd, this little black line here, February 2nd, Look what happened. Bitcoin started rising. It broke through the alt it bro broke through a high that it was resistance here in January, busted through it. They continue to sell all the way into February 24th, Friday, last Friday. And then this Monday an article comes out that they sold up to nine billion or whatever amount of money. Guess where they see these people are smart. They're not gonna let money sit in their accounts. No, no, they're gonna reinvest it. You know that to be true. And look what happened Monday morning. Boom, straight vertical. Tuesday, straight vertical. Wednesday, straight vertical. By Wednesday, it was up $13,000. So my question to you is, hmm, where do you think they put all their money, Andrew? It's um, It had to have gone into Bitcoin. And it's um, it's amazing because it's like you said, follow the money. That's the smart money. Right now, they're the casino and the casino always wins. That's right. That's right. So the point I'm trying to illustrate here is, you know, I'm just putting pieces together. You know, when you when you have a when you have a little puzzle, all you got to do is connect the dots. Can you put the puzzle together? Next thing you know, you start seeing a picture. Well, the picture is rather obvious here. Well, what's the picture? Nine billion dollars sold by Friday. And on Monday morning, you see for the next three days, Bitcoin leaps vertical thirteen thousand dollars. And these are the people that tell you that Bitcoin's a fraud. <laughs> it's dead. OK, now that now. So we've talked about Bitcoin. Let's now get into gold and silver. The reason I want to talk about this and the urgency of this podcast is because Bitcoin historically always, always has led gold and silver. Now, let me explain something about Bitcoin to a little degree. You have to mine Bitcoin on a computer using algorithms, just like you would have to mine gold and silver physically. OK, so if you can't get Bitcoin for free, you can't make it out of thin air. You can't make gold and silver out of thin air, but you can create the dollar out of thin air. <laughs> and that's what they've been doing. And so they've been creating the dollar out of thin air. They've been using derivative contracts to manipulate the price of precious metals for generations, for generations. OK, and Bitcoin, I'm sorry, and gold and silver are not allowed to break vertical. Silver is not allowed to go past what number, Andrew? And gold's not not allowed to go past what number? Silver can't go past um, $25 an ounce and stay there for $25, $26. And really gold um, really has been about $2,000. I, I think now I raise that to about $2,050. Yeah. Yeah. They, and I think we've seen it hit $2,100 and they smash it down. So anyone, anyway, you know, 2000 appears to be the floor. It penetrated it really briefly and it bounced it right back up again. Uh, but it's like it bounces around, you know, in the 21 to 2000 range. And so they have this algorithm that basically the banks sell from one another every single month and they just will not let the price escalate. Why? Because they use their U.S. dollar to buy and pay off anybody and everything back to follow the money. OK, so the money, as you know, their love of money is the root of all evil. This is biblical. What we're watching, we're, we're expected to watch the fall of mystery Babylon. And so when Babylon falls, their money falls. It happens hand in hand. The money system, from what I've learned, when it went from millions in the 70s to trillions, quadrillions now, the money's a fraud. They create it out of thin air. And so Bitcoin, you can't create out of thin air. Gold and silver, you can't create out of thin air. If they can control the price of Bitcoin, which they are trying to do with mass media you know, attempts, but they can't control it because to a degree, if they did, Bitcoin would be priced right now at $2,000 like gold, okay? And it would have a roof above it of about $2,100 like gold, okay? So they can't control it. So I'm trying to have people understand Bitcoin is for running is pre-running 
It's the leader of the pack. And it's showing the world what's about to happen to gold and silver. Gold and silver are about to embark on the greatest bull market in human history. They say Bitcoin's been dead 200 times and you know and it's been dead but yet it, today it's at $62,000 toying with new all-time highs which are about to happen, okay? So Bitcoin is a coin that they can at least deal with. So the big boys, the billionaires jumped in on it. But gold and silver are something they're not allowed to touch. Because if gold and silver, God's money, ever blow vertical, the U.S. dollar will lose its status as the world reserve currency. No one will want it. And everything you know changes suddenly. And so if the billionaires are buying up Bitcoin, we know they're not allowed to touch gold and silver because we would have seen gold and silver jump. And has gold and silver jumped this week, Andrew? No, um, it really hasn't. But it, it feels like it feels like it's simmering right now. It's getting ready to. Yeah. So again, what, all I want think people think about is you don't want to be one day late for what's about to go down. You don't want to be one day late. Could it happen in tomorrow? Um, this this week coming up? Could it happen sometime in March or April? All I know is the moment in time that God has asserted for this moment in time, it's a secret. But you don't want to be one day late for what's about to go down. Gold and silver are going to follow what Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin's blowing vertical right now, and it's only warming up to what's about to happen because the BRICS, think about this, Andrew, the BRICS haven't even attacked the U.S. dollar. And Bitcoin's already at $62,000. Yep. Yep. It's All of this shows a need for us to have... Um, currencies that are outside of the centralized banking system. So right now, it, the only way that you can do that is have cash, Bitcoin, and gold and silver. And the cash is almost gone anyway. And besides, it's not backed by anything real. So it just really leaves gold and silver with Bitcoin and some of the other cryptos as well. Andrew, I want to play this clip and then have your take on it. But this is a, a clip that uh, the Clay Clark put together. Um, and then let's, let's listen to this because this... This is really, this is happening. And you know for a fact this is happening, but yet what? They deny it's happening. They won't talk. They don't want to talk about what's happening. But yet we're watching this happen right in front. You know, this is this is world news. So let's let's play this article. Let's talk about all of this, the U.S. economy and policy with FedEx founder and executive chairman Fred Smith. Our financial capabilities to print money at will is dependent on the dollar remaining the reserve currency. And the so-called BRICS alliance, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, have set out on a deliberate course to dethrone the dollar. If that happens and we can't sell our bonds, I can assure you the living standards that we all enjoy today are going to be a thing of the past. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed U.S. dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. If oil starts trading in non-petrodollars such as gold or a basket of currencies or if China and Russia start trading in yuan and ruble rather than U.S. dollars, that demand isn't there and the way of life for the average American will be done. It will be worse than the Great Depression. The US dollar has seriously discredited itself as the global reserve currency. That's according to Russia's foreign minister, who's been holding talks in Moscow with his counterparts from Persian Gulf countries. A recent uh, widespread report has concluded that more than half of central banks worldwide plan to shift their holdings from US dollars to gold. I'm talking about our currency being used throughout the world. You want it to remain. You want the dollar to remain the world's reserve currency. Well, I think it's bigger than losing any war. Mm -hmm. I think if it doesn't, uh, look, we are already reverting to third world status in many ways. You look at our airports, you look at our terminals, you look at our filthy roads and broken roads and everything else. We're like a third world country. We have something that's very powerful, and that's our dollar all mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. But you take a look at what's happening to it now with other countries not using it, and you know China wants to replace it with mm -hmm. the yuan, mm -hmm. and it was unthinkable with us unthinkable would never have happened now people are thinking about it that could happen why is this not all over the news in the united states it's a i think that uh, first of all the 
the media doesn't want us to really see the truth. They'd rather us, you know, see things about the Barbie movie and uh, and uh, Taylor Swift. But uh, but this is reality, and I love what the what the president um, had said in that. Um, the dollar losing its status as the world's reserve currency is greater than losing any war because um, it the dollar has been powerful. We always say it's backed by nothing, but actually it is backed by credit and other countries invest in the dollar through bonds. But if the dollar is no longer the world's reserve cur currency and if it is something else, they're going to sell those bonds and they're going to sell them quickly. It's everybody that's ever traded in the stock market or really in any market knows that when the market crashes, it crashes way faster than when it heads upward. And um, all those all those useless bonds are going to find their way back to the United States and the dollar is just going to crash. And that's why people are going to need gold, silver and even cryptocurrency. Listen to what Andrew said. He says it takes a, it's, it's the crash is quick relative to the rise. So it might take two, three years for the markets to rise. Yet when it, if the dollar crashes, it could wipe out the three years in two or three days. Yep. Yep. We're stepping into a biblical event. That's what's coming. Now you brought up 45, brought up the word war. You brought up the word war. You have to understand Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi, they tried to sell oil in other denominations other than the US dollar. And the Saudi contract is very clear. The petrodollar contract was very clear. All oil sales were to be only done only in the U.S. bonds. U.S. bonds. Now let's think about this a little further. Nixon took us off the gold standard in '71, and then by June of '74, the petrodollar contract was signed with Saudi Arabia. Fifty years is this June. Furthermore, what I want to add is. When we went off the gold standard, our money turned into what's called fiat, F-I-A-T. Please Google this. Learn about it. Fiat, <clears throat> fiat money is money that's basically backed by nothing but faith and confidence in a government. Okay. Then to add value to the U.S. dollar, we did sign the petrol contract with Saudi Arabia. So now the dollar was at least backed by oil. So that gave it some credence or some values, but is least backed by a commodity. Not It wasn't backed by God's money, but it was backed by a commodity. Now, Andrew, expand about this. Are, is Saudi, so Saudi, the, the, the dollar is called a petrodollar contract, the petro dollar. Who makes up the petro and just describe that to us? Well, it, as, you, um, as you just stated, when uh, Kissinger went to Saudi Arabia in the early 70s and, cre and created the contract that you just spoke of, with Saudi Arabia, it was a trade. They Saudi Arabia would would uh, buy and sell oil using the petrodollar, and in return, the United States would uh, would ensure that the House Assad would remain in power for Saudi Arabia. So, as of the first of this year, that that contract is done because now Saudi Arabia has officially joined BRICS. This happened January first of this year, which allows the other countries to transact using their local currencies. And we've already seen those transactions happen where Saudi Arabia is selling oil to China in the Yuan. So this is the um, this is one big step in unseating the dollar as a world's reserve currency. Okay, so you basically said very clearly there's no more because the petro was Saudi, dollar was the United States, petro dollar. So if the Saudis are no longer part of the contract because they're selling, because the deal was only selling only in U.S. denominated bonds, if they're selling in Chinese yuan or any other currency, we know for a fact now that contract is broken. And that we know that for a fact, too, because nine days after Kabul fell, their neighbor, the Saudis signed a military agreement with Russia. Why? They didn't trust the contract they had with the United States. Two years later, they decided to join, and then they officially joined as of January 1. So what Andrew just said is that there's no more petro in the U.S. dollar. There's no, in other words, it's the fun way of saying is it's run out of gas, but it's not funny because what's about to happen to the United States. And if you Google a fiat currency, this is interesting. If it's not attached to gold or silver or a commodity or even oil, if it's not attached, a fiat currency by true definition has no 
intrinsic value. A fiat currency backed by no commodity therefore has no intrinsic value. So the people, when you go to your bank accounts, you check your bank accounts, you see a bunch of digits, that's all you have is a bunch of digits. Because in the safe, in the bank, there's not enough paper in there to account for all the digits. And we know what they just reported with the FDIC, that I think it's only like, I think it's 2%, the amount of um, digits that are reported in all people's bank accounts, there's only like 1% of it is enough in, in, in liquidity uh, covered by the FDIC, FDIC, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct, Andrew? Yep, that's what I've heard. And if people out there are wondering where that money is, that money has been reinvested by all the other banks, by all the banks in different products like uh, like real estate, commercial real estate, everything, even gold and silver. Because, uh, you know, J.P. Morgan Chase has the biggest hoard of physical silver, which um, if you talk to your broker there or your financial advisor, they'll tell you don't get gold and silver, yet they're the biggest holder of, of silver, physical silver. Right. And Jamie Dimon was just out selling stocks last week, buying Bitcoin. You see what I'm saying? Complete and utter ludicrousy for what they reportedly say, the talking heads and what they say with the reporting heads, talking heads on the media. Yet behind the scenes, they do the exact opposite. There is no reason for Bitcoin to explode $13,000 in three days. And coincidentally, last week, $9 billion were liquidated out of the stock market. Okay. It doesn't make sense that they're keeping the money in their bank accounts and it only makes sense that friday sales monday price explosion it only you just one plus one equals two bitcoin is for running what gold and silver are about to do so those who do not have even one ounce of silver it's a choice if you don't own any silver that's a choice if you keep you choose to keep your money in the bank account, that's a choice. All of these things are choices. But what we explain and what we show you today in this video is to have people understand that there's a second truth out there that's going on behind the scenes, which is not only a second truth, it's the truth, which we are trying to show you and have you hopefully grasp and understand. What I would really appreciate people that are watching this share this video with your loved ones, with your family, with your friends. Have people understand what's really going on behind the scenes. And Andrew, let's touch on 401ks, IRAs. So these instruments that people think they have, they log into their account to see a, a monthly statement with all these digits. Describe the digits, and then if they choose to convert these digits into precious metals, how do they do it, and how long does it take? Okay, so so for people that have 401ks and IRAs and have not converted them into a precious metals IRA, it's still a good time and it's not too late. You got lucky for dragging your feet a little bit and you've um, made made back a pretty good chunk uh, in January and February of this year, but uh, it's it's okay to take a profit at this point. So the way that it works is you can roll over those retirement accounts into a retirement account that holds physical gold and silver in a lockbox with your name on it at a depository in Delaware. And this is not a taxable event at all. So you may not know, but you can you can convert any IRA into a different type of IRA. And as long as you do it within 60 days, it's, it is not a taxable event. And uh, the big, the big um, firms like Schwab and Fidelity and uh, Vanguard, if you check with them and find out if they offer something that's like this, they don't do it. They, they do not recommend physical gold and silver. So it, you would need to reach out to a company like us to do it. And the process is um, very simple. We have an account open with, with your name on it for a precious metals IRA, usually within about two or three days. And then the last step is just to have it fund. So literally our IRA custodian will contact your IRA custodian and, and set up a transfer. And once that transfer makes it into your new account, with our IRA custodian, then you have cash in there where you're able to invest into physical gold and silver. We call you and we talk about what percentage of gold versus silver that you want in there. And it just sits there. And it's a, it's a good hedge 
for any other investments that you have. So when when if you still have stocks or if you um, have real estate, when uh, when real estate is doing great, typically uh, gold is gold and silver going to be steady. When your other investments are not doing well, then gold and silver are going to rise in value, and uh, it's important to get in before both gold and silver do move vertical, like Bo talks about a lot, because um, it's going to happen soon. I did a podcast yesterday with Prophet Manuel Johnson, and he had a vision very clearly that silver tripled overnight. Wow. Okay, so what number have we been talking about with regard to silver in a single day? When silver blows vertical, like this, how does God work? It's called nothing, 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 and then suddenly. This is going to happen at some point. And again, we don't want to be one day late for what's going to go down. So whenever this event goes down, all I'm saying is we're here with regard to biblical timing. So something soon is coming. When silver blows vertical, it's going to blow through the roof, what we just talked about, $25, $26, and it's going to leap vertical. If it does go triple, it's going to at least get into the $60 to $70 range in a single day. Andrew, when that happens, are you selling any silver? Are you buying any silver? What are you doing? It's a, I'm probably going to have to sit on the sidelines and take what uh, what we always uh, refer to as my beach day because it's not that I won't have gold or silver. It's that I'm not going to know what to sell it for. because uh, And the reason I won't know what to sell it for is because I won't know what I can replace it for. So I'll have to sit on the sidelines until that becomes more clear. When this event happens, it will jump vertical. The dealers will close their doors eBay, everything will shut down with regard to precious metal sales. Why? Because no one's like Andrew, they're not going to know what to sell it for. They won't know what the buyback price is that they can buy it for to then resell it again in the future. They have no clues. A big, huge question mark appears. So everything just goes quiet. And that's what's about to happen. When this event happens, we'll have some time go by, whether it's a few days, a week, whatever it is, time's going to go by. And at some point, Adam's going to open the doors up again. But silver is now not going to be sitting in the 20, under 25. It'll be sitting way above 25, okay? So it blew the roof off the number that we were talking about, both gold and silver blows the roof. Um, gold's going to blow through 2100. When it comes back down, it'll it'll they'll try to bring it back down again, but it won't could be anywhere near 2100, and no, silver won't be anywhere near $25. The problem is you had an explosive move, and because of the explosive move, there's still that factor of spread. So what happens on a spread? Let's say silver's trading. Uh, it goes to it sets, it sets shoots up to sixty, seventy dollars. Maybe backs off to maybe fifty dollars, forty or fifty dollars. So the price is now at fifty dollars. Where's the spread at? Because right now, talk about present day spread right now. And let's say if silver spiked in a single day, and again, then within a couple of days, you know, you start selling again, say at fifty bucks spot. What would the spread be at then? Well, for example, today uh, silver is at about twenty two dollars and 50 cents per ounce. So um, you can buy a Silver Eagle for a little bit under $30. So um, the premium is about six or $7 an ounce uh, over spot price for a Silver Eagle. Well, if we were to see $50 silver, it we, we could potentially have a $25 premium, possibly even a $50 premium over spot price. And a point of reference for that is um, November of 2022, when silver bottomed out at $18.50 an ounce, it cost $18 over spot to buy one ounce on a, for a Silver Eagle. So $36.50 to get one ounce, even though the spot price was only $18.50. And that's the, that, that shows the effect that demand can have on the premiums of what it costs to, to buy silver. That is the effect of what happens on something precious. It's precious because it takes a lot of physical work to get it out of the ground. So you need to understand right now, the spread's only $6-ish on a Silver Eagle. When this event happens, you, it'll, it'll probably cost you anywhere between $75 to $100 just to get that coin that today costs you around $25 to $30. And that's just the start. And you may not even be able to get it because no one may, may be selling. We don't even know how this is going to play out because we're stepping into some biblical, biblical times. We've got the bricks about to attack the dollar. We don't know the day or the out that's going to go down. But this is a real thing. 
This is real. We play the video. The bricks are all come together as one. The prophecy as the brothers of Goliath, which are the bricks standingly, we will cripple you. The you is the United States. This event's about to go down. It's going to happen in a single day. We don't know the day or the hour. We're stepping into a new year based on the true calendar, the Roman calendar that they've been trying to deceive us with. But there are two calendars. So March is starting a new year. These next 30, 60, 90 days are going to be biblical. We, we do know that Israel was freed from bondage at Passover. Passover is in April. People, you can't take any of this lightly. This is, history is going to repeat itself. This is going to be wild what's about to go down. So in closing, Andrew, if people want to reach out to you, um, again, I'm just saying, share this podcast with your friends, family members. Just get it out because time is so little right now. There, we're coming into a moment in time where things are going to shift in our world. Whether we like it or not, we cannot stop what's coming. But what you can do is be prepared both spiritually, knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord and King, and financially with your financial position, so you can be in a great position when all of the dust settles. So in closing, Andrew, how do people find you? Uh, and then if people, we've talked about 401ks and IRAs, if people want to buy just, if they have money in their accounts, how do they do that? And, and how quick does all this go down? So if you reach out to us on bh-pm.com, and right there on the homepage, there's a form. Go ahead and fill out that form, put in your name, email address, phone number, and under the how you heard about us part, put gold 2020 forecast or Bo sent me or Bo Polney, but it's a notes and question section that's most important. So um, we have different team members that specialize in different parts of what we do. So if you have questions or would like to roll over part of your retirement account or all of it into a precious metals IRA, then state that in the notes section so I can get you to our IRA team. They're the best in the business. And our response time is uh, usually within about 24 hours. If you reach out to us, say, um, at nighttime on a Friday night, don't be surprised if you don't hear from us until Monday. But we do have staff here on the weekend that, that are making calls. So um, if you need a, a quick call, if you, if you have a certain schedule of when you're typically available, put that in the notes section. If you're a complete newbie and would like to, um, and you have a lot of questions and want to block out a, a chunk of time to be able to have those questions answered, put that in the notes section. Really, the most detailed that you can be is how we can help you the best. But right now, our lead time, as far as uh, as far as re getting back to you, is usually within 24 hours. So um, definitely reach out before we start to see this blow ver vertical, because once we do that, um, then the herd is there's going to be this herd mentality. And uh, of course, we still will call you, but um, it's going to be a longer time frame until we can call you. The prices are going to be higher. The premiums are going to be higher. And uh, really, right now is the time to make the move. Thank you, Andrew. So I just want to finish on this one thing we need to consider. When this event goes down, it'll be too late to get involved at these low prices. Mm -hmm. And just know that what we're showing you, we're not making, this is not made up. The BRICS is a real thing. All of this is happening. So in closing, just share this video. It's, it's an urgent, it's an urgent video to have people 